Benetti, one of Europe's oldest yacht builders. In 2014, they debuted a new series of fast displacement motor yachts, the 140 Veloci. This being one of them, cheers for six. Uniquely sharp lines, a beach club at the stern, a pool on the bow, expansive deck spaces, and a beautiful interior to match. One that's flooded by light, decorated with detail, and enhanced by a few hidden features along the way. Welcome on board, cheers for six. Beach clubs have become increasingly popular in recent yacht design, and this might be one of the best you'll find on a 42 meter. Offering a teak beach, bar with TV, this is your immediate connection to the water while on board. And when the beach club is closed, a teak swim platform becomes available. Let's move into the after. Your first of three exterior dining possibilities. Here we have seating for 12, sheltered by the hardtop above. If we walk all the way forward and up those stairs, we'll access the pool we saw earlier. But before we have a look at the bow, let's move up another deck to the bridge deck aft. The aft section has a large U-shaped lounge for kicking back with a cocktail, and to starboard you'll find a diving board. And if you're feeling brave, jump off the one on the sun deck like Seb is demonstrating here. After your daring leap, you're a few short paddles away from your beach club. Notice how elevated we are here on the bridge deck aft taking in the views from the second exterior dining table, similar to what we saw a deck below. Let's move up another level to the sun deck. Anchoring this terrace in the sky is a jacuzzi located at the stern, and it's flanked by sun pads to either side. You might have already noticed the TVs on the other decks. Well, you have two here on the sun deck, serving 828 square feet of entertaining space, including the lounge to starboard, and bar to port. Of course the bar has four bar stools, but you'll find four more facing ahead for an outstanding view while at sea. While we're facing that direction, let's move forward to the innovative bow section. The foredeck has your third exterior dining area, a few sunbeds and a pool. This is normally a space where shipyards tend to make compromises, but Benetti gave you everything you'd want in a fantastic gathering space. All of this protected from the sun. And once you've had your meal and taken a nap, come have a dip in the refreshing pool. Now let's move inside. The interior flaunts a tropical African Cato wood finished in a light gray stain. The neutral Minoti furnishings complement the look and offer a relaxing atmosphere. This seating arrangement leads right into your formal dining area. Again, seating for 12 here. Cheers for Six has a very open interior layout, with spaces that transition seamlessly. You'll notice huge windows here in the salon that always keep you in touch with what's going on outside, and the largest window reserved for the dining area for obvious reasons. Positioned properly near that dining space, you can find the galley forward to port. Specked with warm stonework and another large window, this space will certainly keep your chef happy. Now let's continue forward along the starboard side, where we have an access to the side decks, the lower guest staterooms, and a dayhead. But we'll continue forward into what is most likely the largest gym you'll find on any 42 meter. Four treadmills, top of the line exercise machines from the Techno Gym person line, and a full set of weights and dumbbells. Tucked away on the port side, you have a massage room where your muscles can be nurtured, ready for the next session. And once you're completely relaxed, Come take in the views on your own private terrace. We're exiting the gym now and moving down the stairs into the staterooms. If we head forward from the steps, we'll move into the master stateroom, stretching the full beam and offering a set tee and hanging locker to starboard with a large ensuite to port. Aft you'll have two VIP suites with queen size beds. The tropical Cato wood continues throughout all the staterooms.
On either side of the stairs, there are symmetrical staterooms with a Pullman berth overhead and two side-by-sides below. Of course, each stateroom is paired with a lovely ensuite. Let's move back up to the main deck and ascend one more level from there to the Sky Lounge. The upper salon is a quiet and welcoming space. It has large windows and comfortable Minoti furniture. You have not one, but two flat screens in the Sky Lounge. Also, to port is a wet bar to keep the drinks flowing, and to starboard is another day head. We'll pass the captain's cabin before continuing forward into the helm station. With state-of-the-art navigational electronics, excellent visibility while cruising, and a set tee at the aft for guests while on the way. We're moving back to the stern to show off a few of her toys. The tender garage is located on the port side. It houses a Williams 445 jet tender, dive compressor, and two sea jet skis. One of her most distinguishing features is her D2P or displacement to planing hole, which gives you the flexibility of either a fuel efficient 12 knot cruise or a max of 22 knots, all while in complete comfort. She's powered by NTU 12V 4093s, giving you almost 7,000 horsepower in total. That's roughly the power of 10 Lamborghini Aventadors.